what's up welcome back here to another edition of intuitive angling and really appreciate you guys taking some time to watch the video and subscribing to the channel definitely never take that for granted got a really good quick tip for you guys today i'm going to show you guys the right way to rig your jig trailer it's going to be a quick tip to not only get more bites but to land more fish that you catch uh, on jigs and jig season's coming up right around the corner so i think this is something you guys will want to check out um, real quick before we get started here guys just want to remind everybody out there anyone interested in booking an on the water lesson with me just shoot me a message on my facebook page a private message randy block a professional angler i can give you all the details about that and also if you're interested in becoming a channel member um, channel members get extra videos every week that aren't seen by the public you can become a member by going to the bottom of my home page on my youtube channel and click on that little play button it says intuitive memberships gives you all the info for that so it's appreciated Okay guys, I'm gonna show you guys about the whole deal you need to know about jig trailers here. First of all, let's talk about how you put them on. Guys, this is not the way to put a jig trailer on. See how the uh, sort of the fat side is up here? I see a lot of guys rigging their jig trailers like this. You do not wanna do this. this. To me, this is like those guys that use a spinning reel and they put the spinning reel upside down. This is not how it's designed to use. You wanna turn it around the other way and rig it in this fashion right here. Looks a lot more natural on the water, comes through a lot better. This is the way that you wanna rig it fat side down. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is a couple modifications that you do with, the, with your chunk or your trailer if you are hooking it on like a frog. That's what this, is, this particular video is for, not so much the threading it on, but if you're using the chunk type trailers, this is what I do. The first thing what you wanna do you want to reduce some of this mass right here where your hook goes through because you don't need it there. The only thing this is designed for is to put the trailer on there. So you don't want any plastic competing the hook. So one thing I do is I'll take my scissors and I'll just put it at an angle and I'll just clip it like that. See, see how thin I made that there? It's just super thin. And that way, when you put your, uh, your block at old school jig, which you can get in Bait works, link in the description, quick plug there. Um, when you put them in there, you've got very little mass. See, see how, how narrow that is? So that's gonna cause you to land a lot more fish because you don't have that plastic in the way there. You got a lot more hook available for it. That's the way to do it. Now, the next thing I like to do on my chunks is I take some of the sharp edges. See how some of these chunks, they got like a sharp edges? I like to take it and I like to take that scissors and I cut those all the sharp edges off. And to me, what this does, it just makes the, the chunk look more natural. So I've taken those edges off like that. So there you go, guys. That's just a simple tip, real quick tip, to get more bites and land more fish on your chunks that you, you thread on like that. Now, a lot of people will ask about, you know, do I wanna thread my chunks on or do you wanna put them on like a frog? It depends on the profile. If you put the, if you hang them off like this, like a frog, it gives the jig more of a bulk. It gives it more mass and length. But if you're wanting more of a compact look, that's when you thread them up the shank of the hook, and it just makes the, uh, it just you know decreases the the the, uh, the profile of the jig, makes it look a little more compact. So a lot of it, it's not necessarily one is better than the other. It's just what you're wanting to accomplish as far as the uh, size and look of your jig. So. Anyway, guys, give it a try. It's going to help you guys get some more bites and land more fish. Uh, much appreciated, and we'll talk later, guys.